everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome to the long-awaited Detroit Become Human. That's right, we're starting it this week. Here we go. I've received some tips from people. Thank you to everybody that's given me advice. Like, in the various sources where you've posted it, or messaged it to me. And also, to uh, record this screen. Obviously, this is the start screen, and I've gone nowhere but to here, which was basically just setting up the video and making sure that the frame rate's good and all that. But, um, this is crazy looking. <laughs> I gotta say, like, the detail is insane. Like, it's wild. That's madness. I can't believe it. So, I want to say thank you guys for voting for it. Thank you for your patience waiting on it. And, um, as... As many people seem to have wanted, uh, going to... The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's a quote from Jean Jonot, a French writer. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Just random. Just a little random thing. That's great. So, basically, before, before we get into the game, and we are, I'm... I'm hyped. So what we're going to do, because um, I put the poll out, uh, longer longer episodes of this, but they're going to come out every other day. Um, mostly because the the big thing is I want to I, well, I know what you guys really prefer, right? So I know it's not a very long game, like a long game, but... I want to make sure it's good. And my recording windows haven't changed. So that's why that's why it was one or the other. You know, longer videos, but every other day. Or, you know, kind of like normal length, like 45-minute videos. But I could do it every, every day, you know? Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that's that. Detroit Become Human. Let's go. I know... I know jack shit about this game, so... Uh... Yeah. If a man has not discovered something he will die for, he's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. I do like it. That's great. What is this? Like, the way... It's just like, she's talking to us. It's great. <laughs> It's so cool. It's just such a such a neat thing. Now, I want to make sure that everything is right. Okay. All right. I think we're ready to begin. New story. So, it says this, but it's like I never actually started the game. I think it was like because it automatically goes through that setup process and it continues. So, let's do it. <laughs> August 15th, 2038. 8.29 p.m. and counting. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. Wait a minute. So, okay, so... This, guy, this guy's an android. Obviously, it's like, android. But... Okay. Left stick to move. So all the ones with that little circle in their head is, uh, those are androids. And also, I guess the model numbers, RK-800. Okay. Negotiator. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. 
Okay. Oh, interact using the right stick. So take. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. I see what I see. I see. This is some real future shit. Got it. Oh my god. Okay. John Phillips. 999 Caroline Phillips and Emma Phillips. So, obviously, family photo. And the fact that this okay. So they called him a negotiator. So that's already ominous. And these three being the family that's here. I love that he can just look at it. It pulls all this information. Probably not from the photo, but from him. From us being able to. No. Oh. Oh, there's a fish on the... Synced on Dwarf Gorami. Leave or save? Oh, choose by performing the right movement. So... Wow, I could just leave the fish? No, we're gonna save the fish. Poor guy. Back in there. There he goes. <laughs> it's a nice tank. It's, uh... It's a damn shame. It seems... Oh. Okay, this is bad. Sorry. Like... So it's supposed to actually be all the way full. That's not good. Obviously, water's on the floor. Those are bullet holes. Uh oh. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Oh shit. So do these have a bad rap? Find Captain Allen. Consult your objectives. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just get the order. This escalated really fast. Okay, I gotta talk to him first. Understood. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I am putting it together. Oh, this is gonna... I already feel a lot of pressure. I feel so much pressure with this game right now. Oh my god. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android set by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. It? We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. What? Deviant's name, Deviant's behavior, emotional shock, deactivation code. Uh, deactivation code? Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Okay. Uh, I see what this is gonna be. Okay, what's the Deviant's name? Do you know its name? Listen. Oh boy. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. 48% probability of success. Understand what happens? Save hostage at all costs. Oh god. Oh crap. Okay. This is. This is insane. Oh my god. Why are we. This is so fast. Okay, I'm assuming this didn't belong to these guys. Oh, gotta hold it. Okay. Point three five five ammunition, bullet weight, energy. Jeez. I gotta say, this is cool though. This is this is really awesome. This is. Oh my god. MS eight fifty three Black Hawk. Reconstruct. What? Use 
the triggers to review the reconstruction. No. Holy crap. Oh my god, that's crazy. They could do that. So he reached for it. Oh, this is the Deviant! Oh, shit. So it came... Say it. So the android came down. With confidence, took the gun. Why? Oh my god. Oh, and the music is just... The music's great. Really feeling the... Really feeling the vibe. This is a sick room. Child didn't hear gunshots. Yeah, it was too busy. Was listening to music. If you love... The life you live, you will live a life of love. Damn, that's deep. All right, let's check our iPad. Play. That's so wholesome. What? Okay, now I'm confused. Like... So, he was cool with her. He was nice. Right? And then, just suddenly, out of nowhere... Just, like... Popped off? Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, is this the dad? Wait, bullet room bullet wound lower left hemorrhage internal bleeding. He was obviously yeah, he was shot by the by his own pistol. Left kidney perforated fatal abdominal trauma abdominal abdominal trouble. Trauma. God. <sighs> Upper lung hemorrhage. So he got he got shot in a lot of really key points. Deceased, John Phillips. Estimated time of death seven twenty nine. Reconstruct. Okay. Oh, I can rotate the camera. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, that's fucked up. So he's just sitting here. And the android is just like, yo. He stands up, yo, what the fuck? Why you have a gun? He waited for him to turn around. father was holding something. Ooh. Your shot, where did it land? Oh, it's over there. Okay, I can see why they started using androids for this. Like, I, I see it. Like, the fact they can do this, but... It also makes sense why the, the mom was freaked out about letting us even near the daughter or even to be involved. Because it was an android that did this. Your order for an AP700 android has been registered. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. 
Oh. Okay, what a... The plot thickens. Oh, shit. What the fuck? I can't realize I can move. It was too... It's too immersive. Like, I literally couldn't tell it cut back into the game. So he was going to be replaced. So, ooh. Shit. First responder. Bullet wound, right heart, ventricle, perforated. Damn. So... What if they're, what if they're androids, wouldn't they, they're, I mean, theoretically, right, like, just surface level. They're machines, right? If they get replaced or upgraded, that's just the way it goes. But maybe that's the whole thing, right? Maybe they're more than that. Lead, oh, l lead, 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 stiffening, autonomy, sulfide, only one shot. Okay. Anthony Deckard. So the last guy, the the dad was shot at 7:29. He was shot at 8:03. So it took about an, it took about like 40 minutes for someone to respond to it, or for someone to get here. Okay, so there's the there's the guy. Turns around, gets shot. Shoots back. What? This is so strange. Hostage witnessed the shooting. Oh shit. He was holding her when he was doing it. That's... That is traumatic. Cop shot the deviant. Yep. Right on the wall. Oh. His gun. This is... this is wild. American Androids Act 2029. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Oh shit. We have a choice to take it or put it back. Oh no. Oh god. Really a choice like this already? So if we take it, we're basically, we break the law. But if we take it, maybe it could help. Fuck. Oh, God, why? Take, take the gun, put the gun back. But what if it could help? What, it wouldn't saving the girl be worth it? It's like, what are they gonna do to Connor? I'll um, probably deactivate him. <sighs> Shit. Uh, it's, it's probably a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. Ah. Uh, God damn it. You've unlocked a dialogue or action often beneficial. Okay. What are you looking at? Don't stand there. Okay. That's interesting. They reacted to the way I was standing. Interesting. Don't no, gonna turn that water off. What are we waiting for? We should take down the Okay, I guess I'll turn it off. Nice. 
family was about to have dinner. Family was about to have dinner. It's been just over an hour since little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened, but the hostage shaker could be the family's android. He may have taken the lives of at least one family member and a police officer. If confirmed, this would be the first case of an android deliberately taken human lives. By all signs, the SWAT team are preparing for an assault, and... So that's where he is. He's on the, he's on the edge with her. Holding her. What? Like, I... <sighs> so we only have 74%. Is there something maybe in here? It's like 74% is like pretty good still. But. Uh. I just. Can we do better? It's probability, you know. Ah, uh, shit. I feel like maybe. Oh yeah, let's look at... Can we look at these? Child size shoe. Colorful model. Hostage could be wounded. Uh oh. Oh my god. That... Oh, what the what fuck? What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to him. <sighs> god damn it. That actually startled me. No, not yet. I guess I wanted to look at the blood stain. I guess we'll go outside. Things are already escalating too far. Stay back! Well, we found him. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Oh, his ring is red. Okay. Hi, Daniel. Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. Oh, the arm. I've come to get you out of this. <laughs> Gain the Deviant's trust. Approach slowly. I'm an android, just like you. I know how you're feeling! What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on oh, your side! You can't understand how I'm feeling! Are you armed? Feeling? Oh god, lie. Lot. Truth. Yes? I have a gun. Drop it! No sudden moves or I'll shoot! I don't know if we should have lied. There! No more gun! Okay, no, actually, maybe that was a good idea. Uh, Emma and you... I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Then you'll know! That's... I... I don't know, she's, she seemed pretty cool about you. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Sympathetic? Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. So they're, the androids became too realistic. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. Uh, ex 
accept. Rational. Rational. Listen, there are snipers on every roof. Let the hostage go. You have no other choice. Fuck. I want everyone to leave. I hate this. And, and I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Compromise. Refuse. Ah, oh, shit. Uh. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go. And I promise you won't be hurt. You don't want to die. Reassured. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. <sighs> okay. I trust you. Oh, oh, that's so sad. Successful. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What? What an opening. What an open. Literally couldn't have predicted that. Holy shit. Pressure? That was intense. Oh my god. And I, I obviously now I see how this is going to go. This is going to be nuts. And okay, yeah. That makes sense. They made the androids so good that they had to feel to be effective. And now they feel too much to the point where it's like they're almost human. And when he felt like he was going to get replaced and that he didn't really mean anything by just something that you could be tossed out and replaced with something newer. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, this is the scene's flow chart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that, can, that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion flowchart. Oh, shit. Interesting. Oh, this is all the way back. That's curious. Huh. Okay, so they're the ones... Like, save the fish, and then there's that locked option. Again, I could have left the fish behind, so I see that. That's cool. It actually shows you what it's doing and how it's branching. So, it was a good idea I took the gun. For the sake of showing him I had it, and I threw it away, showing that I was, I was cool. You can trust me. But... Yeah, I do see that whole wasted too much time. Like, it I it literally was, like, every second counts. And it was the faster that I go through the scene, probably, probably could have changed things. Now, friendly approach, dismiss the helicopter, be honest about the gun. I should have... Shouldn't have been rational. Should have been, you know, should have been a little bit different. But we lied to him. We built the trust. And they shot him. Seeing that there are 
one, two, five other ways this could have gone is both really cool and absolutely terrifying. Because I imagine one is going to be he he yeets. He yeets himself with her off. But it did seem like there was realistically, even if he was to not be shot, and he gave and he surrendered her. Like they weren't gonna let this dude go. November fifth, twenty thirty-eight. Oh, model AX four hundred. Memory reset. Oh, this is weird. Oh, oh. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks ten thousand different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two hundred languages and dialects, and handles the kids' home care, elementary school, a university. <laughs> Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest-free credit. And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. That's pretty. That's a pretty good deal, is it not? There's Eight grand? At night, it switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break in or if it detects smoke. Excuse me, how much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly I'm sorry, more it expensive, just... but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. It just clicked with me. There's androids selling androids. There it is. What the fuck? It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> a car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh. Oh, okay, we're someone different now. Oh, shit. This is... I'm gonna say it now, I'm excited. This is, this is gonna be such an awesome game. This is gonna be such a cool experience. Oh, God. It's so cool. See why so many of you voted on it. So many of you pushed it. Oh, it's so pretty. Androids are doing everything. They do. It's almost just standard. Like if you don't have an android, you're the, you're the weird one. Like they have like incredibly, incredibly effective like cooking ones, and then educational ones, surveillance. It's just like. It's crazy. Lost my job because of androids. Damn. I mean, that is a side effect too, right? When you look at it, like, every single thing they can do, you don't need a person for anymore. Right, David Cage, let's see what you got. November 5th, 2038. 9.38 a.m. Oh god. Okay. Oh, hello. I think it was having, it was having a moment, it was just like, kind of stuttering a little bit.
This is neat. So I do like how all these, the yellow things are things we can interact with. That's obviously our objective. Okay. What was he re Tech addict. Secrets of androids. How Cyberlife designs into androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. I mean, we're almost there. <laughs> Android soldiers. Perfect killing machines. Great. Oh, that's crazy. You don't even open it anymore. Okay. Secrets of androids. How Cyberlife designs androids to coexist with humans. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge Cyberlife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the Humanized Department at Cyberlife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expression, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. So by be being too perfect, it was like a weird, like an uncanny valley thing. And so they made, tried to make them more human. Interesting. They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity down to details that androids simply don't need is the secret to Cyberlife's design success. It makes a lot of sense. They, Yeah, they don't need to blink or breathe. They don't need facial hair. And so it's like, they... He made them be able to simulate breathing to look more human. That's it. Same with blinking. Like, that's crazy. Is this a totally different magazine now? World temperature increased by 3 degrees since 2000. Green Earth. Climate change up. How the environment is changing America's society. Miami to heighten seawall by further 10 meters. Oh boy. Look at that hurricane. That's insane. How the environment is changing America's society. Climate change up. A recent U.S. census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate is in once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to just <laughs> to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climate, climactic weather. Clim climatic weather. There is also suffering from urban flight, with all the services and amenities following richer customers in the new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this the donut effect, whereby the previous centers of coastal cities gets hollowed out. The census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. Damn. That's intense. Oh, nope, nope, no, no. This is cool, though. I can't go that way. Okay. I want to check out some stuff. Okay. Let me... One sec. Okay, sorry about that. Just wanted to make sure the... Uh, I think the, the shadows were getting a little intense here. So I just had to change some of the settings. But... Um, I want to go... Ah, damn. 
that's interesting, right? Like, I assume it's, it's, obviously it's like a gameplay mechanic, but it's to keep androids from doing stuff you don't want them to do, right? Like, you're supposed to go to the Bellini Paints. That's not where you're supposed to be going. What are you doing? It's interesting. Whoa. I didn't know I could do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> can only walk when it's green to walk. Whoa. <laughs> I triggered a GPS. Damn it. I got caught in the street. Okay. Going to the paint shop. And we saw this in the in that opening trailer. It's so interesting. Android temporary parking. So like if you're going to the store and you're like, I don't need the Android right now, you just literally put them there. That's that feels so strange. But I guess it's normal. Hey, move it. You're scaring away my customers. Okay. Feels a little rude. What do we got? Oh, the cops are hanging out. Are you, a, are you an android too? Holy shit. Oh, that's so crazy. Like, you don't know. But you kind of... I mean, you know when you really look. Jeez. Damn. Sorry, I was just like taking it in. Human music. <laughs> A dollar to hear music with soul. So they even make, entries make music now, too. Okay, so that's the paint shop. Can I talk to him? I mean, it's good music, not gonna lie. Fifteen to nineteen ninety eight. Obviously, a big important man. The protesters. Broadcast surveillance drone operating in these premises. Androids are stealing our jobs. We got families to feed, and these androids are taking our place. Scanner. 
Wait, are you... What is this? Push the button on it. Does he get a car? Is that how it works? Whoa, that was cool. Okay. That was neat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, I, I know, like... <laughs> like, nothing's really happening. I'm just, like... There, but there's also, like, a lot happening. Okay. So they're protesting straight outside the the place itself. Thirty five percent unemployment, that's insanity. After mankind. every selfish desire. Why do you look at me so demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Okay, that's a little hurtful. We prefer to live with machines than with our own kind. Technology is our god now. It was supposed to serve man, but it is becoming our new master. Yikes. Androids are evil. Man seeks to imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? A life with no soul? A pale I feel like everything's plastic and metal, though, so really... No. Is it so bad? Yeah, yeah. I get it, though. You replace so many jobs, like, what do you do, you know? Colors since 1909. Collect package. Doesn't seem like there's anything else we can interact with yet. So we'll get our package. What we, what we came here for. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Every shade. Connect. Identification verified. Oh. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Oh. Transaction complete. This is so... Okay. Yeah. All right. That is crazy efficient. Just comes in. You don't even go pick it up yourself. You just send your Android to go get it. Use RB to switch camera angle. Oh. Cool. I like it. So I can do it this way or I can just switch it that way. Jeez. Alright, so we gotta take the bus home. You know what? I I will say it. It would be uh, it. It does feel uh, scary being an android at at this time. Like conceptually, it's really cool and it's impressive. It's a technological wonder, really. But uh, yikes! The the amount of hate, detests that they get. It, uh, not good. Do I get in here? No, oh, it's all the way down there. Okay, I was like, that's not, it's not for buses. Oh, man. Oh, God, we gotta walk past them.
Yeah, it's like, don't let, don't give me the option to approach them. That sounds terrifying. This is cool, though. Interesting. Can I... Isn't that crazy? That they're androids, but they're, like, moving... And everything just behind the glass. It just looks like people. That's wild. So... They're all AP700. Is that the newest model? No entry for purchased androids. Wow. BL100 and the AP400. This is gonna get crazy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. oh, this is gonna get this is gonna be an intense game, I already feel it. Android compartment. Wow, so they don't even they don't even let them ride with the regular passengers. Huh. Alright. Damn. Alright, feels kind of shitty. Total points, 720. Staring at the hot dog vendor was an option? <laughs> I thought that was just a reaction. What the hell? Oh, that's so... Oh, man. Oh, I didn't think we could stare at him longer. I love this, though. I love this. It's so cool. We did pretty much everything else except for those two. Oh. Okay. Oh, now we're back to... It, okay, so it seems like... Are we going to, like, rotate through a couple different androids? Like, kind of, like, seeing different points of view? Yes, join Todd. Yes, Todd. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Ah, great. Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Jeez. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. All right. Oh man, this feels this feels uncomfortable. Urgent tasks, optional tasks. Collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner. Check the backyard. Collect trash. So, well, he paid like eight grand for a. <laughs> yeah. It's for like a like a maid android. 
Maybe. Ah, oh, crap. Dishwasher not working. That's what you need. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's efficient. It's not working? You can order the part immediately. That's crazy. Yeah, right, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Go, 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 go. Scrub the hell out of it. All that baked on lasagna. TV on. But she's just staring at us. It is interesting because it's like, I mean, I guess that's the whole, you know, Detroit become Carl. human. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Okay, jeez. All right. It's real aggressive. Some hockey. Let's go. What are you looking at? Oh shit. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'll get back to work. Oh, that's terrifying. Uh the fancy Roomba. <laughs> Does it work? Oh she's <laughs> Alice, you better stop that right now. Why is she always pushing me? You know what? I'm beginning to think you're not that great of a person. Let's get that trash bin. Save us the trip. Bring it over with us. Dear Lord. This place is a fucking mess. Did I fit that whole box in there? Holy shit. God, we're efficient. Are you okay? kind of sad. It's very sad. Not kind of sad. It's pretty sad. Like. Uh, this is not a. This does not feel like a fun household. Take out the trash. I hope I can still go to the backyard. Credit card application form rejected. Overdrawn account notice past due for the gas bill. Water bill. Oh my god. Alright. Negative thousand dollars. Okay, so this is This is a bad this is a bad time. It was a real bad time. Okay. So, so he's struggling. Like financially, clearly, from those, right? And his decision was to get an android. Or repair one that he did have. Fuck, man. I still go outside? Yes. 
Todd is not having a good time. Take down the laundry. Oh yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain. Best to get it out of here. Oh, I need the basket. There we go. It's so interesting, because we're... Like, so far we've seen, like, three different point of views of androids. We saw Connor being the negotiator. Right? Terrifying, actually. You know? And then we were just in the city buying paint. But we got to see, like, the city life. Now we're, like, in the, the rural life. And just, like, how androids are. And how life is, really. It's fascinating. Rewash laundry. I guess we'll put it in the washing machine if this is the one that works, right? Oh, wait, no. Hi. Game, backyard, weather, school. Uh. Weather, backyard. You like playing out here? Okay. <laughs> uh. School. Are you going to school today? Crap. I wanted to pick a game. I wanted to play a game, but I don't know. Maybe, she, maybe she's just not comfortable with us in general. You know. Maybe we are... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay. Is there anything else we can do out here before we bring this into the laundry? Where is the laundry room? There it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know what? Best to rewash it anyway. Probably wasn't great out there. Oh, okay. What? Drugs? Red ice. Acetone, lithium, ethereum. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Fuck Todd. Piece of shit. Feel feel real cool, real manly, you know, standing up to a to an android. You know, real real cool, you bro. Real fucking cool. <laughs> All sports. Android power should it be outlawed? Football frenzy, the latest transfer speculations. So androids play sports? That seems... That seems a little unfair. A little bit, right? Should it be outlawed? It's the... Th In its third game of the season, android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 miles per hour mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. 
Androids were introduced as a one per team innovation, but they've come to dominate the team strategy. Every draft sees the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records to purchase these latest Android models. But is the game suffering? I'd imagine. Jenny Waterfield, head of Fanzine Home Run, says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kind of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. True. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball a baseball pundit and ex pitcher, these androids are making games more exciting. Thinks androids are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. Yeah, but it's an android. <laughs> oh, Sentry. Transport innovation that's shaking up California. Connecting the dots. Politics and focus. Are American senators really corrupt? <laughs> China earthquake kills 10,000 people. Good lord. Connecting the dots. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. The new subtube... Subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours. Less than half the five hour flight time. That's crazy. Top speed of 1800 miles an hour was made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized, depressurized chamber providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. Damn. For commuters, these raises, this raises the tantalizing prospect of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and putting your feet up on the Golden Coast. Yeah, I mean, like, imagine, right? Like, you could be across the country. You could work, you could work across the country and then get home in the time it takes you to beat L.A. traffic <laughs> by just, by just taking this. That's ins the, the the prospect of that is nuts. That's crazy. The transport innovation that's shaking up California. Oh, that's the same thing. Okay. California's property markets are reacting. Suburban prices have skyrocketed 64%. LA realtor Charlene Lowe says she knows where the new buyers are coming from. They're East Coast types, specifically New Yorkers. They see a chance to keep that New York NYC salary whilst enjoying an L.A. lifestyle, and they're scrambling over each other to take advantage. That is exactly what makes sense. Real estate isn't the only thing shaking up. Schools place, school places are rapidly filling, and suburban retailers are racking up prices in anticipation of all those New York dollars flooding in. Long-time Californians are expected to be pushed out from the cities, which is why they've been protesting the new line. As one angry demonstrator put it, First, Detroit takes our jobs, then New York takes our homes. When's it gonna end? Yeah. That's a good point, though. Right? Like, they... They they get to keep their jobs in New York, and they have all their money. But they come out here, or they come out to California, to L.A., right? And it's just like... They don't live here, but they're... They don't work here, but they're trying to live here. And it's just like now you have an influx of people. It's just, it's crazy. It's insane. Good lord. What are you doing? You seem so just uninterested. <laughs> can, I, can I see what you're doing? Not really. Okay. Jeez. Okay. What the hell is going on, Todd? <laughs> okay. All right. You fucking crazy asshole. Holy shit. Okay. We're going to pick this up on the next episode. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We finally did it. We started Detroit Become Human. And is this a hell of a start? I never, I never would have seen it going like this. Holy shit. Like... Starting off with a hostage situation. Ugh. And then now seeing this. Like, oh, what is this game?
So, I look forward to all of your comments and everything. And, uh, and our inc in our incredible future with this game and all the choices we can make. And I'm going to be as efficient as possible. Especially regarding this Android site. You know? Like everything. See, there's something in the corner. There's Todd. You know? So... I don't know what is in that corner. It just seems like a bunch of crap on the floor, but I guess we'll pick that up. That is our job, I guess. You know? And the way he doesn't treat her great. He doesn't treat Alice great. He seems just like overall to be like the worst fucking guy. And then... Just like my last... <laughs> like the thing that I thought when he came to the store to pick... Pick up... His Android, right? So like, well how? We had to repair it. And then he's like, it got in a car accident. And it's like... Did it? Did it really? Or did you just like beat the shit out of it because you were mad or something? Uh, poor Kara. Or Kara. I think it's Kara. I'm pretty, I remember it as Kara. So, yes. Oh my god. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'm excited to, see, I'm excited to play more. So I hope you guys are excited to see more. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.